I have an incredible story for you today. If you thought television couldn't get any more unpredictable, hold on to your seats because we're about to dive into the saga that has everyone talking. So, imagine this. A new season is starting, and right out of the gate, we're hit with a news bomb. Matt Roloff, the patriarch of the Roloff Farms family, gathers his ex-wife Amy, fiancé Karen Chandler, and Amy's husband, Chris Merrick, to make a stunning announcement. No one saw this coming, but Matt announces that in his will, he is leaving the family farm to Amy, bypassing Karen, his fiancé, and their four children. Yes, you heard that right. The farm, a central character in the family story, is coming back to Amy. In the preview clip that had everyone buzzing, 62-year-old Matt and 56-year-old Karen sit down to talk to 61-year-old Amy about what is about to change their lives. Under Karen's gaze, Matt explains, We've pretty much decided that when I die, we're going to give Amy what part of the farm I have left. And Amy is speechless. I… I don't even know how to comment on that, she managed, clearly stunned by this sudden turn of events. In the confessional, Amy is still trying to process the news, saying, What? That's crazy! About Matt's stunning decision. Matt, meanwhile, justifies his choice as a means of simplification, pointing out the potential complications of dividing the farm any other way. The four children of the ex-spouses who grew up on the farm find themselves at the center of an unexpected plot twist. Karen, in the spotlight, insists that it was she who suggested that Matt leave everything to Amy, emphasizing her disinterest in taking over responsibility for the farm. Let's talk about the fact that I was the one who came up with the idea of leaving everything you own except Arizona because it's ours together, Amy," she says, looking directly at Matt, who acknowledges her influence. As the discussion unfolds, Karen explains her point of view, emphasizing Matt and Amy's shared history and their efforts in building the farm. She explains her position by saying, I came in late and I don't want this. I don't want to take it away from the people who built it, the family, the kids, that's for sure. Adding another layer to the drama, Karen states, whether we get married or not, the farm is not negotiable. Reactions to the clip on social media have been polarized. Amy's supporters argue that she deserves the farm because she was instrumental in its development. Critics, however, question the fairness, pointing to the substantial payout Amy received for her share of the farm years earlier. The debate extends to suggestions that Matt should have considered setting up a trust for his children or grandchildren with some noting the potential complications Amy may face in managing the farm's future. The Roloff children, in particular, have varying levels of involvement with the farm. Jacob, the youngest, remains the only one who actively works on the farm, although he stays away from the television spotlight. Zach and his wife, Tori, had previously expressed interest in running the farm, but later declined, citing differences of opinion with Matt. In 2022, Matt announced his decision to sell part of the farm to turn it into a vacation home, further complicating the family's dynamics. So friends, what do you think about this family saga? A generous gesture by Matt or a plot twist that could lead to future disagreements? Write in the comments and let's figure it out together. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into little people, big world, show some love by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel and sharing your thoughts below. Thank you for being with me today. This is Max, I'm going off the air, but not for long. Stay tuned for notifications because you don't want to miss what we have coming up next. In the meantime, stay curious, keep discussing, and remember that the best stories are the ones we live together. See you in the next video. Goodbye.